The fishermen were talking of a battle at the port. Was it you? Did you find the Admiral? I freed Duncy, but Kane is holding his family and he left to look for them. That's terrible. Indeed. The situation in the city is dire as well. But there are rebels organized by a man named Tyler Cross. I think we can be of some help to them. Perhaps we can discuss the latest developments over dinner? Of course, you're right, mademoiselle. It's difficult to talk of revolution on an empty stomach. And what shall we eat? That's up to you, as you'll be providing the ingredients. There are rabbits in the field behind the mansion. I need five of them, if you please. Here are your ingredients. I have a rather big favor to ask you. The peasants refuse to come back to work. I need you to convince them to return. They will be back in no time. What are you doing around these parts, stranger? I come on behalf of Lisette Lavoyer. She asks that you return to your duties. Perhaps we will, perhaps we won't. That's not entirely up to me. Speak with the others. If all agree, we shall come back. Greetings, young man. Could you help me find my horse?
Bless you, young man. I will support your cause when I speak with the others. I need to start the cooking. Would you be a dear and light that fire? Thank you. You're a kind man. I will speak to the others on your behalf. Ahoy, lad! I've heard tell of your assistance around here. You make an old man happy. Tell Madame Lavoyer we shall return to our duties in the morning. Good morning, Lisette. I have good news. The peasants agreed to come back to work. You're a genius. I don't know how to thank you. And alas, I have one small favor to ask of you. What can I do to help? Meet the caretaker at the stables. He needs an escort to the inn. Don't worry. No harm will come to him as long as he's with me. So, you're the man Lizette is talking about. Am I? I hope it's only good. We'd better get going, it's no short journey to the inn. You young people are always in a hurry, but you're right. Wait for me here. I shan't be long. Any longer and you would have found my bones waiting for you. And be deprived of your charming, intellectually stimulating conversation? Never. Shall we? The ale is waiting for me back home. Please help. My horse has died. Could you take me to the nearest settlement? Sure. Get on. We'll take you to the Chateau La Volière. Thief! Give chase, lad! He's stolen all our money! Don't worry, I'll catch him. You be fine on your own? I will meet you at the mansion. Just make sure you catch him.
Stop now, or I... Stop now, or I shall have no choice but to use force. You can ride a horse, I grant you that. But it won't save you. Have at him, lads. Here's your horse. Now how about some of that ale? You're a lifesaver, lad. Have as much ale as you like. Might I find a man by the name of Blake? Henry Blake. Call me a wench again, and I'll cut your tongue out and feed it back to you, you unkempt son of a heathen whore. My, my. <laughs> no offense intended, madam. And might I add, your French is exceptional. <laughs> State your name and business, sir. A friendly lot here, I see. Uh, my name is Edward Teach, though most know me as Blackbeard. You are Blackbeard himself. I might have known. A base pirate who wraps himself in the mantle of democratic revolutionary can only be a scoundrel. And my business, sir, is that. Henry Blake, you are he, I presume. To rescue the love of my life, taken prisoner by Spanish curs. I hear good things about you, and I can't do it myself, because there's a traitor within my ranks, and I cannot risk it. And why would I help you? Good question. You'll have a pirate's treasure for your reward. And I'm not just any pirate, mind you. Fine. Where is this love of your life being held? A Spanish outpost called Guantano. All of you are under arrest by order of Acting Governor Edmund Kane. Go now, Henry. Use the trapdoor. We'll hold them off. Have at ye, you scurvy dogs! <laughs> I love the smell of fresh blood when it's pouring out of your Royal Navy pufters! <laughs> <laughs> 